Will Smith is known for being many things. A rapper, a sitcom star, a movie superstar, Jada's husband, Willow and Jaden's dad, and of course, the guy that smacked the dog shit out of Chris Rock during the Oscars. But what you probably don't know is that those aren't the only things that contribute to his estimated $350 million net worth. And even if the Oscars ban him for the next 10 years and he loses every movie deal in his queue, financially, he'll be just fine. Will Smith will never go broke. Because aside from the things that you probably know him for the most, there's another area where he's been excelling for decades under the radar venture capital, or investing large amount of capital in early stage startups. Believe it or not, Will Smith earns tens of millions of dollars investing in some of the most groundbreaking brands across multiple industries, from beauty care products to NFT companies and everything in between. He's been making investments in startups since the early 2000s, but in 2018, he started a venture capital firm called Dreamers VC. In addition to investing in some of the hottest startups globally, Dreamers VC aims to bridge the gap between Japanese corporate investors and early stage US based companies. In this video, we'll talk about how Will Smith proved that he was a bad boy in the investment game and how he grew his portfolio in secrecy over the last 20 years. And we're gonna get started right now. Willard Carroll Smith II, better known as Will Smith, was born on September 25, 1968 to Carolyn Bright, a Philadelphia School Board Administrator, and Willard Carroll Smith Sr., a refrigerator engineer. He attended Overbrook High School, and although he was almost a shoe-in for MIT, he decided not to apply to college at all because really, he just wanted to rap. That decision would turn out to be the right decision since in the 1980s, he had some mediocre success rapping as the Fresh Prince. But that fame would blow up in the 1990s when he was chosen by Quincy Jones to star in the popular television sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The show ran for six entire seasons and was a massive success. Once the show ended, Will made his transition from television to film and soon became one of the highest paid actors and one that could drive hundreds of millions of dollars to any movie with his presence. By 2014, 80% of the films that he starred in generated over $100 million in worldwide earnings, with 5 out of 21 of his movies grossing over $500 million each in global box office receipts. He starred in classic movies like the Men in Black movie series, the Bad Boys movie series, I, Robot, I Am Legend, Hancock, The Pursuit of Happiness, Ali, Enemy of the State, as well as newer releases like Concussion and After Earth. And as a result of his star power, he was able to command between 20 to $30 million per movie during the early 2000s and still earns eight-figure paydays for his current roles. He reportedly earned $20 million from the 2017 Netflix movie Bright, and another $35 million for a sequel. Men in Black 3, however, brought on his largest paycheck. In this deal, he earned $20 million in upfront salary, but with a deal that guaranteed him 10% of gross earnings, he earned another $80 million in back-end points. And his skills wouldn't go unnoticed. He was nominated for two Academy Awards for his portrayals of Muhammad Ali in the Ali movie and Chris Gardner in The Pursuit of Happiness. And then he finally won one on a controversial day at the Oscars in 2022 where he was selected as Best Actor for portraying Richard Williams in the movie King Richard. The King Richard movie will also earn him several other awards, like a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, a Critics' Choice Award for Best Actor, and a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Leading Role. All in all, as an actor, he's proven to be somebody that both viewers and producers would view as a dynamic force with a profitable presence. But of course, you're not here for a history lesson about Will Smith's life, so let's talk about when his life shifted and he started using some of these millions to invest in startups and other emerging companies. Will Smith's first investment proved successful and it ended in an acquisition. In 2005, he invested in a hair, body, and beauty product company called Carol's Daughter. Carol's Daughter was founded by African-American entrepreneur Lisa Price, who started creating products in her Brooklyn kitchen in 1992. For 10 whole years, she ran it kind of like a side hustle, selling it to family and friends and a small group of customers. Then in 2002, she appeared on The Oprah Show and opened her first store in Manhattan. Shortly after, Lisa appeared on HSN and secured a partnership with Sephora, and this move would catapult her business forward. Her appearance on HSN created a ton of buzz, and a bit later, she was called for a feature on Tyra Banks' talk show, alongside Mary J. Blige and Jada Pinkett Smith. According to Lisa herself, the company was generating around $20,000 per day on its best day, 
but revenue bumped to over $100,000 per day after appearing on the Tyra Banks show. With her newfound success, Lisa decided to go the venture capital route and raise $10 million to grow her brand. And having met Jada Pinkett Smith on set, she had the right connections to convince Will Smith to join in on that raise and invest. And he did. It's unknown just how much he invested or how much he made. However, in 2014, Lisa sold the brand to L'Oreal for $27 million, bringing her and Will Smith a major payday. Although Will and Lisa are both now disconnected from the brand, Carol's daughter continues to grow, with over 1,800 employees staffed by the brand in 2019. With a successful investment under his belt, Will would do what every investor would do, nothing at all. In fact, between the years 2005 and 2011, he didn't make any investments whatsoever. But then from 2011 to 2014, he would make several new investments that would build a foundation for his portfolio and prove that his first investment was much more than just beginner's luck. In 2011, he invested in a company called Stance. Stance is a designer and manufacturer of socks for men, women, and kids, and was founded in 2009 by entrepreneurs Jeff Curl, John Wilson, Aaron Hennings, Ryan Kingman, and Taylor Shoup. Will invested early on, joining other investors in a $6 million Series A round. Stance went on to raise over $116 million in VC funding over the next several rounds, giving the company the capital that it needed to build momentum for national growth. In 2015, the company had a huge year, growing its employee base by 356% up to 114 staff members. In 2015 and 2016, Stance was named as the official sock of the NBA and the MLB. During this period, Stance realized accelerated growth, partially due to its army of celebrity brand ambassadors, which included everyone from Allen Iverson and Dwayne Wade to Billie Eilish, Rihanna, and surprisingly, or not so surprisingly, Willow Smith. It is unknown how much Stance is worth today since they've had several rounds of layoffs over the last few years, which could signal potential troubles in the water. However, in 2016, they had a value of around $400 million, and this is a significant amount for a sock and undergarment company that competes against global brands like Hanes and Fruit of the Loom. Today, the company ships a reported 15 million pairs of socks each year. Now, we don't know how much Will invested or how much equity he owns, but every bad boy needs a fresh pair of socks, and I'm sure that his sock collection is lit as hell. Then, in 2013, he invested in a seed round for a company called Tuition IO, a platform that enables employers to offer education assistance benefits to their employees, such as school loan repayment services, for example. Tuition IO launched in 2012 and participated in the Launchpad LA Startup Accelerator. After finishing the accelerator program, they started raising capital in a seed round and caught the eye of Will Smith. Will, along with 11 other investors, funded a $1 million raise for the company. Basically, Tuition IO seeks to disrupt the student loan issue, which is a pain that's felt by more than 44 million Americans. Over the years, the company has secured some major brands as clients, including ADP, Ford, Hulu, Live Nation Entertainment, and Universal Music Group. During the next several years, Tuition held a Series A and a Series B round, where they raised a total of $15.2 million. The company is not yet in a position to make an exit, like through an acquisition or an IPO, but they also haven't taken any outside funding since 2016, so you can assume that they are both profitable and self-sustaining. While Tuition.io does not make its financials public, it is estimated that they earn around $5 million annually. Now, this deal may not have allowed Will to reach his day of independence, but it is definitely one that I'm sure will kick Will back some nice dividends in the long run. Also in 2013, he joined 14 other investors, including Bruno Mars, taking a gamble and investing in a new musician-based startup called Chromatic. Chromatic offers a platform that enables musicians to learn, play, and share the music that they love. It provides access to a catalog of thousands of music pages, chords, sheet music, and tabs from hundreds of artists worldwide. A year after Will Smith's investment, Chromatic raised an additional $5.7 million in a Series B round. Then in 2017, Chromatic was purchased by its larger competitor, Take Lessons, for an undisclosed amount. At the time of its acquisition, Chromatic had a catalog spanning over 20 instruments, with many included software features like online metronomes, notation, and practice logs. 
and they had around 1 million users on the application. At this point, Will was floating like a butterfly with his investments, but soon he proved that he could sting like a bee. There were several other investments that he made between 2013 and 2014, but I'll just list these off quickly so we can move on to some of his most recent investments. First, there was Fancy, a fashion marketplace with a Series C fund that raised $53 million. There was also BioBeats, an AI healthcare company, and Will partially funded their seed round before they were acquired by Huma. And then there was Julep, a beauty brand that secured over $30 million from Will, Jay-Z, and a bunch of other investors. In 2016, Julep was acquired by Glansaw, which purchased the company along with two other brands for $120 million. In 2018, Will Smith aligned with Japanese soccer star Kaisuke Honda to form a new VC firm called Dreamers VC. When asked about this collaboration by Yahoo Finance, Will said, what's really great working with Kaisuke Honda, he's out of Tokyo. So we're trying to expand and take a look at the whole world. Collaboration is one of the big things we're looking to do like mash people up and see what people can create. We want to have a little slant towards people who want to put positive things in the world. All in all, Dreamers VC has made almost 40 startup investments, but let's talk about a few of the most prominent ones. In March 2021, Dreamers VC and Michael Jordan were both among a group of investors that fulfilled a $305 million Series C raise for blockchain startup Dapper Labs. The company, founded in 2018, is a leader in the NFT space, having created digital products like NBA Top Shots, Crypto Kitties, and the Flow blockchain. The company sits at the forefront of the non-fungible token movement, which has exploded lately as the world becomes more familiar with the potential of the metaverse and the role that NFT and blockchain play in the metaverse's success. In 2021, NFT saw more than $10 billion in transaction volume, and as a leader in this space, Dapper Labs proved to be a worthy investment. The company's monthly transactions grew from less than $1 million in 2020 to nearly $225 million in February of 2021. Overall, Dapper Labs raised $607.5 million to date and carries a current post-money valuation of around $7.6 billion. It's almost inevitable that Dapper will make an eventual exit, either through an acquisition or an IPO, and when that happens, Will Smith will definitely prove that he is, in fact, a legend in the startup investment game. Then in 2019, Dreamers VC invested in the Series B round for Gen G Esports. Overall, Gen G raised $46 million during this round from a total of 11 investors. Gen G was only established in 2017, but now it's the leading esports organization connecting the United States and Asia. The company owns and operates top teams in the world's leading esports markets like China, South Korea, and the United States. Its portfolio of teams includes winners of seven global esports championships. With the money raised by Willard and Friends, Gen G is continuing to add on to its portfolio of franchises in the top and emerging leagues and competitive circuits. According to Forbes, the company is now valued at $185 million, making it the number six most valuable esports company in the world. Current events may have made Will an enemy of the state, but he's obviously a friend to some of today's fastest growing companies. And then there was Step. Step is a financial services company that enables teenagers to take advantage of mobile-based banking. Last year in 2021, Dreamers VC invested in Step's Series C round, a round that will raise $100 million in total. As people continue ditching brick and mortar banking establishments in preference for online only options, Step goes after a younger generation of users, a market that other solutions just ignore. Instead of just providing banking, they give teens the tools that they need to manage their money while learning financial literacy. And through all of his fundraising rounds, Step raised around $191.3 million. In addition to the Fresh Prince, several other celebrities invested in Step, including Justin Timberlake and Steph Curry. At the time of their Series C raise, Step had already amassed more than 1.5 million users, with 88% of them saying that Step was their first bank account. With Step growing its user base and targeting an underserved market, it's no doubt that this was a great investment for Will that'll one day allow him to hitch a ride straight to the bank. In June 2021, Dreamers VC invested in Titan, a startup building a retail investment management platform for a new generation of everyday investors. He invested in their Series B round where they raised $58 million from a group of investors, including celebrities like Odell Beckham Jr., Kevin Durant, and Ashton Kutcher. Through the Titan app, 
Investors can select their portfolios, ask questions on the fly, and get advice directly from an investment team. The company was founded in only 2018, but it already has more than 50,000 clients with $750 million in client funds under management. After this Series B raise, Titan was valued at $450 million. From 2020 to 2021, the platform grew by more than 500%, mostly from organic measures, and the company expected to reach $1 billion in assets under management by the end of 2021. In August of 2021, Titan moved into offering crypto investments, taking advantage of the cryptocurrency craze and separating itself from other investment platforms. We'll realize that while wealthy baby boomer investors prefer to deal face to face with financial investment advisors, millennials and less capitalized investors don't want to visit the men in black. They want to invest on their own terms and that shift will likely take Titan to a billion dollar valuation over the next several years. In late 2021, Will and Dreamers VC invested in the Series C round for Superhuman. In all, the company raised $75 million from 11 investors, bringing their total lifetime raise to just around $108 million. So what is Superhuman anyway? Superhuman seeks to help people get through their email twice as fast by offering new features like a calendar built into your inbox, timed reminders to follow up on emails, and send later options. It also allows people to organize their inboxes into different categories like class, extracurricular activities, important contacts, and others. The company was able to raise a significant amount of capital with only a few users. As of October 2021, they only had around 15,000 customers paying $30 per month, but had another 220,000 people on the wait list. As an invite-only app, they sought to create FOMO, or fear of missing out, which translated to investors who were really fighting to be a part of it. However, they have grown the company to over 130 employees, and many reviews say that the experience is much better than using Gmail and other free email providers. And I'm sure that you're asking, what makes Superhuman so much better that Aunt Viv's nephew would invest in it even with so few paying customers? Well, it's all about time. We value our time and we'll pay to have more of it and to free ourselves from the time consuming tasks that revolve around email. Superhuman and Will Smith realized that in our pursuit of happiness, saving time is more important than saving money. Here's a list of all the other companies that Dreamers VC invested in that didn't make it into this video. But if you want me to cover them in a part two, leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to slap you across the face with another one. Overall, Will Smith is a competent and successful but conservative startup investor. He picks great businesses, but he often waits until there is significant traction with far more Series B and Series C investments than seed rounds. But if you wanna check out somebody who made over $100 million investing early on in some of the most successful startups in the world, you should check out our video on Nas because one chance introduction to an unexpected mentor shifted him from being a dope rapper to an ultra wealthy venture capitalist. And you can check out our video on that story right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. We drop new videos every single week and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, take care and keep creating amazing shit.